This is Spanish 3 Global Challenges Vocab 161 through 165. I'm going to say the following words in English and Spanish and then clap. And after I clap, I'd like you to repeat both the English and the Spanish with me, okay? 161, the aircraft carrier, el portaaviones. The aircraft carrier, el portaaviones. 162, the army, el ejército. The army, el ejército. 163, the rifle, el rifle. The rifle, el rifle. 164, Congress, Congreso. Congress, Congreso. And 165, the congressman, el congresista. The congressman, el congresista. How are we going to remember that porta aviones is aircraft carrier? Well, let me say portar. Portar means to carry. Like everybody say porter. Porter. If you go to a fancy re uh, fancy hotel, a porter will carry your luggage from your car to your room. So portar is to carry, and el porta aviones is the thing that carries airplanes. Remember avion is airplane. We talked about aviation. Now what's strange is it ends in an s. But it's singular. It's el porta aviones. Now there are several words that do this. Um, everybody say paraguas. Paraguas is umbrella. It's singular, but it ends in s. Now say parabrisas. Parabrisas. It's singular. It means windshield. It's singular, but it ends in s. There are a few words in English, in Spanish, that even though they end in an s, they're singular. We'll talk about that later. Now say ejército. Ejército. Ejército is army. Like the army can have military exercises. Say that. The army can have military exercises when they practice for war. Also, some people hate the idea of going to the army because they don't want to exercise. Some people hate the idea of going to the army because they don't want to exercise, which is silly because exercise is good for you. So say ejército. Ejercito. And notice the accent. The accent says, hey, stress this file. Don't stress the next to last file. No one has ever missed the word rifle. <laughs> it's el rifle. <laughs> okay. And Congress. The thing that my students have trouble with Congress is, in English, it has two S's. In Spanish, it has just one. Now, what are the four commonly doubled letters in Spanish? Everybody say seller. Seller. The four commonly doubled letters in Spanish are C-E-L-R. Now, there are a few exceptions. Here's an example. Everybody say porta aviones. Porta aviones. This is the only Spanish word I've ever seen that has a double A. Sort of like in English. Can it, does anybody know the only word in English that has a double A? It's aardvark. Everybody say aardvark. So, when I say seller, it's double. Those are the ones that are commonly doubled. Everybody say microondas. Microondas. It means microwave. And that's the only word in Spanish I've ever seen that has a double O. All right. Let's go with congresista. Now, there is only one letter in Spanish that's both male and female. Everybody say um, estudiante. Estudiante. Student. The letter E is both male and female in Spanish. A male student is el estudiante. A female student is la estudiante. There's only one suffix ending in Spanish that's male and female. It's ista. Male congressman el congresista. Notice it's not O, just say no isto. And a female congresswoman is la congresista. Everybody say el dentista. El dentista with an A is the male dentist. Now say la dentista. La dentista. So be careful with nouns that end in ista. They're both male and female. And be careful with nouns that end in E. They're both male and female. All right, let's do our post quiz. I'm going to cover up the Spanish. Please take a few moments, look at the English, and say the Spanish equivalents out loud. Or even better, look at the English and write the Spanish equivalents down. This has been Spanish 3, Global Challenges, Vocab 161 to 165.